Hi, this is John from Apollo Sprayers. Today, we're gonna to talk about reassembling the 7500 Atomizer spray gun. Let's get started. To reassemble the 7500 spray gun, start with the gland seal. That's located in this position underneath or in front of the trigger. The gland seal is a small white seal here. It has a tapered end on one end and a flat edge on the other end. So we wanna make sure that the tapered end, oops, tapered end is always going into the gun first. So I'm gonna place that into the spray gun, followed by the gland seal, which is the small stainless steel nut. Okay, and once I've got the gland nut in place, just do it finger tight for now. <clears throat> we'll uh, do the adjustment on it later. So I'm gonna start with assembling the front of the spray gun now, uh, next. The first one we're going to put in is the fan adjust, uh, the fan control ring uh, seal, and that has a very small, thin edge on it on one side, and then if you flip it over, it has a larger, wider end on this side. So we always want to make sure that the thin end goes into the spray gun first, so that the wide edge is what rides on the back of the fan control. So make sure that's all nice and flat with your finger. Then we're going to put in the fan uh, control ring. And we want to make sure that's located at 12 and 6 o'clock. Then we've got the fan adjustment plate. And this uh, part ne also needs to go in with the slots at 12 and 6 o'clock. Uh, it is possible with this part, unlike the control ring, if I can get it out, that it can go in backwards. You want to make sure that it doesn't go in with the slots side to side, because if you do, you'll only get a round spray pattern. So always make sure that when you're putting the, the distributor plate back in place, that you've got your slots at, at 6 and 12 o'clock. Okay. Next, we're going to take the air distributor, and with the pin on the back of the air distributor, we're going to take that whole assembly and line it up with the hole in the back of this, on the inside of the spray gun, which is, oops, I got it upside down. That'll help right up the uh, bottom lower left-hand corner. And so then I'll reassemble that, putting the pin into that hole. All right, once you feel it, it locks into place, that holds this whole assembly. Just hold it together with your fingers until you get the nozzle in. So the nozzle is going to be our next part that we're going to put in. And then just take your multi-tool and snug that up. Don't do it tight, just snug it up. Once that's all together, then check your adjustment here on this on the ring and make sure that's nice and tight. You don't want it too tight, obviously, but you don't want it loose either. So uh, once we've got all that done, we can put the air cap seal back on. And make sure that snaps into place. And then the air cap, and finally the air cap ring. And don't do the ring up too tight uh, so that you can rotate the air cap freely afterwards. Uh, that way it doesn't need to be tight. So now we're going to reassemble the, front, the back of the gun. We're going to start with the air valve, which is this part. And slide that through the hole right behind the trigger. Push it all the way in. Then you're going to take your spring. And the spring has a small end and a large end. So make sure that the small end goes into the spray gun first, leaving the large end towards the back. Next is the, is the uh, fluid adjustment bushing. So we're gonna install that in the back of the gun here. Okay, and once you got that down, just take the nut the uh, wrench and just tighten the nut up a little bit. Then insert the needle. And once you've inserted the needle, put the needle return spring and finally the adjustment screw. And if you want to take the adjustment screw all the way down just until it uh, stops, that, that way you won't have any trigger pull on the needle itself, only on the valve bushing. And the last part then to install is your, is your blanking cap. And that's going to uh, be installed on the opposite connection for whichever cup you're going to use. So if I'm going to use a bottom cup, 
I'm going to want to mount the cap on the top of my gun. And if I'm going to use a top mounted cup, I'm going to use the cap on the bottom of the gun. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and set it up for a bottom gun cup. So I'm just going to screw the cap onto the top of the material outlet and just snug it up with the multi-tool. And there you go. That completes the assembly of the 7500 spray gun.